After years of languishing in the semifinals, Macedonia is back. They have ambition, and we have a feeling Jana Burcheska is going to the final. Should we talk about it? Let's do this! Let's do You guys, Yana will sing Dance Alone, but she is not dancing alone because she has all of us moving. I was not expecting this. This has instantly shot into my top five. I have not yet ranked my top five, but this could very well be my winner. This is just amazing. I went to sleep last night. I woke up humming this in my head. It was, it's so infectious and catchy and strangely moving. The music video showing her old woman, virtual reality, reliving her past. It's just very touching. And yet it's also sexy and sensual and contemporary. It's very, very difficult to create something that sits between all these different attributes. And she somehow managed to do it. This looks expensive. This looks glossy, but it has a soul. This is not just about having money. This is about having some kind of artistic vision. And I just, I'm over the moon. I'm so happy for Macedonia. Oh, I'm so, I'm exactly the same. I'm so happy that Macedonia have pulled this one out. We were saying in that very first video when she was announced, we were like, oh, you know, Macedonia don't do a lot. Like they don't make a huge amount of effort. They are throwing everything at this. The song is great. The music video looks expensive. The staging, they brought the person who did Euphoria and so many other songs in. It just feels like they're really, really taking this ser seriously and they want to do well and they will do well. I cannot see any situation where this song will not do well at Eurovision. Um, yeah, it's great. It's catchy. It sticks in your mind. That Just the dance alone hook alone is enough <sighs> to make me... It, it just constantly goes through my head and it's only been out for 24 hours and I already do think that it is in probably my top three, and yeah, it just feels so contemporary whilst having that kind of little late tears throwback that makes it a bit more accessible to people who might not get really modern music. Um, I'm interested to see what they do with the staging. Obviously, they will probably won't be able to do the VR thing like they do in the music video, but I'm expecting something else quite arty and emotional. I could go on for hours about how much I love this song, but I won't. Um, yeah, really, really good job, Macedonia, and well done, Yana. Yeah, I, I think Macedonia were already in trouble like last year, and then they called Calliope and said that come save us, and then Calliope didn't. Um, but I think Yana will actually go to final. I I think this is also. I also think that this is really good song. It's not just a typical modern pop song. I I think it has like elements from different eras it, it's really it's it's really touching in a way um, and the music video it's really good with the song uh, it's interesting to see how she's doing it live uh, I don't know there's some it's not auto tune but it's some elements that sounds a bit different than her actual singing voice is so I'm really interested to hear how it's actually live um, but I, I think it, it's it's really good entry and I think she is just lovely already when we saw the first video of her in the photo shoot I was really excited excited because she was so lovely and she is so puffly and I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to actually meet her and talk with her and see all the interviews because I, I think she actually is it's just a lovely person I, and the song is just great and I, I'm really happy that Macedonia is back in the game. Um, even I like Daniel so much but since 2012 when they actually made his final it's been really bad journey for Macedonia but now they're back and it's it's really I think it will make top 10 if their live performance is, is really good as the song is. And it's always dangerous to ride a trend and we're hearing lots of electro synth pop sounds out there now both on the radio and in national selections. But she's taken that and made it her own and this doesn't sound like all those other songs. It stands out even though in a way it's got a simplicity to it but it still stands out and pops. And again, that's so hard to create, but they've managed to do it. The lyrics are very, very strong. 
I will dance alone wherever I am, the rhythm follows. I will dance alone, I'm lost in the sound of no tomorrow. It makes me want to seize the day, serve that carpe diem realness. Again, inspiration, fun, you know, not silly, serious, but also light enough to enjoy. It's just, it's ticking every single box. She's beautiful. Look at our behind the scenes video. She's got sass and attitude and she can deliver this. I've not felt this excited about a Macedonian entry ever, ever. I think she's got a lot going for her. Obviously she has the killer song, but also this year hasn't been the most amazing. So that's going to help her even more. And then I think she's in the first half of the second semifinal, Chris. Yeah, she is, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, the second semi-final is the one where there isn't really, a, like, there's probably a couple of songs that are guaranteed qualifiers just based on, like, the country and their past, but she is in a good spot. The only thing is Serbia are in that first half as well, so we expect Tiana's going to have, like, quite an up-tempo song quite like um, Macedonia. So if they push her a bit further forward, will that affect her? Macedonia don't always have the greatest televo. Uh, I'm 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 not worried. Um, I, I don't think that it, it's going to make the final definitely, but I don't know whether it'll win the semi final or you know it, it's going to need a bit of momentum maybe to really challenge for the win. But the fact we're even talking about Macedonia as a possible winner is crazy. And if you would have told me three days ago that I would have been saying that, I probably would have slapped you. So yeah, um, yeah, it's just a great job. And the way that it blends the emotion kind of in the lyrics, and it is quite touching with a modern sounding song, it blends it so well. Whereas a lot of songs this year haven't done that. They either go all the way down one route or the, the other route. It's, it's never quite blended. This does everything just right. Yeah, I think the reason why Macedonia haven't done that well is because they sent big artists like Calliope and Daniel was, he won the X Factor and, and all those, like Esma, um, but the songs weren't that strong and this is, it's not a Palkan song at all, it's really international, it's really Swedish, of course the team behind it is mostly Swedish, it's really, th that we get that sound all the time in Sweden, like to Velu, it's really similar to that, and I think that is the that is the reason why Macedonia will do much better now. It's not just for the Balkan region; it's for whole Europe. Whole, it it it's really international. I can see or hear this everywhere in the world, and I hope this actually becomes a hit, at least in Europe. I, I think this really has potential to becoming bigger than just the Eurovision song. Radio friendly with a capital R, capital F. That's what we think. What do you think? Can Jana Burcheska give Macedonia its best result ever? Is this your favorite song from Macedonia ever? How do you think it will do? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Make sure to hit that like button. And also subscribe to our channel for more reviews and interviews and all that kind of fun stuff. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.